Sheets because what we have coming next is guaranteed to be gruesome. I can't wait. We have one of our breakout talents against Jason Jordan. The Indian Vader is here! It's Buzz! Making his way to the ring from Stillwater. Weighing in at 280 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, The Terror. There's been a lot of coverage on Buzz's falling out with Baron Blade, but less is known about Buzz's other mentor, his father. I do know, however, that Buzz has an old saved voicemail from him that he uses as motivation before his matches. Saxton, you've been snooping through people's phones again. No, Buzz told me about it, I swear. This kid's the real deal. And his opponent from Chicago, Illinois, Woo! weighing in at 245 pounds, Jason Jordan. Hey, Byron, here's a little trivia question for you. Who's the only person with the NXT SmackDown and Raw Tag Team titles? Huh, I know, Jason Jordan. For the first time in your life, Saxton, you're right. He read it off my notes. Fair point. Jason Jordan joined Raw in 2017 as general manager Kurt Angle's son. What a wonderful moment you that broke was. the news. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Ouch. Hell in a cell. Without a doubt, this is going to be one of the most hellacious matches we have ever witnessed. Oh. Big punch finds its mark. Running power slam. Suplex! Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that we've seen some pretty special moments over the years. But for me, few were more special than getting the opportunity to call the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match back in October of 2016. You gotta believe this one's over! Beautiful technique. Recalling that first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, I gotta say, the ovation Sasha Banks received that night was among the loudest I've ever heard, but I didn't remember you actually calling the match. Yeah, that's what happens when you compete in your hometown, Cole, but ovations can only get you so far. And in the end, it was Charlotte walking away with the win, not Sasha. What's the next move for Jason Jordan to turn things around quickly to remain in this thing? I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Earlier today, guys, the locker room area was still talking about the Superstars' last match. In fact, I overheard one competitor say he wished he could pull off a performance like that. He's got him covered. Digging deep for a kick out. He just powered out there, Cole. He's looking at it. Michael, I'm not to slam down hard. Will Buzz be able to continue? I doubt it. There he goes, crashing to the floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, the old European uppercut. Things are looking dire for Jason Jordan. This could be the end of the first impact. Jason Jordan getting absolutely assaulted in there. Jason Jordan is in a real bad spot. Oh, chip-breaking upper 
uppercut. Guys, there are nights when it's clear which match excited the WWE Universe the most. And I think this superstar's last match did just that. Drop kick! The last time out certainly was amazing for this superstar, as Byron was saying earlier. But moving on to tonight, Corey, what has to be done to walk away with the win? A pinfall or submission? What, is this your first time, Cole? Jason Jordan just too fast for him. Jason Jordan just too fast for him. Oh my God, no oh my God, stop this! Don't do it from up there! This is too much! Of course, guys, we all remember when the Hell in a Cell debuted in 1997 and how harrowing the structure looked. But it's worth noting that the cell has become even more ruinous in recent years. You know, Corey's point about the cell evolving in recent years is absolutely right. In fact, Byron, the structure is now well over five tons. And I believe that's more than twice as heavy as the original cell, Michael. And believe it or not, it's increased in height by nearly five feet. His shoulders are down. Yes! Unreal performance. The devil was afoot in this Hell in a Cell match. Let's take another look, guys. These guys showed flashes in this match, but flashes don't exactly set the world on fire, as these highlights show very well. Here is your winner, The Terror. Well, that one was over before it even started. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight in what an epic Hell in a Cell match we just witnessed.